we're building islands to restore the natural habitat that existed for the wildlife and the fisheries here that was originally here before the pool levels were raised. Starting in 1930, the federal government built a series of locks and dams on the upper Mississippi River. The locks and dams created a nine-foot deep channel from St. Paul to St. Louis that made it easier and safer for barges and other boats to carry their cargo up and down the river. But they greatly changed the riverway and the land around it. When we put the locks and dams in, we raised the water elevation. And what that did is that introduced wave action as a major erosive force on the Mississippi River and its habitats. Half a century after the dams and locks were built, most of the islands had disappeared in the lower portions of many pools. Wisconsin joined with the federal government and other states to turn back the hands of time. Uh, these islands used to be uh, a certain size and width and design and uh, by Mother Nature and what we're trying to do is recreate that back to their original structure. We have aerial photos that we use to to kind of uh, go back and look in time at what they were and try to recreate that. This will accomplish two things as far as wildlife. It'll create deeper habitat, the dredge channels will create fisheries habitat, and in addition, recreating of the islands and then recreating some wetland areas behind the islands and bring in more waterfowl and other types of wildlife. We have spent to date for the entire Upper Mississippi River system about $250 million on restoration work. We've restored over 100,000 acres collectively in all the different states and have over 50 projects that have been completed. The numbers in Wisconsin are very impressive. Even more impressive is what fish managers are finding in their surveys. These islands, they bring in fish and then after a few years we see fish colonizing. We see lots of reproduction, lots of small fish and as you track that through time we see lots of adult fish as well. Yes, the islands are working just as we had hoped. What anglers are seeing on their line. Here's a nice sized largemouth bass, a very healthy fish, uh, about 16 inches probably, a couple of pounds. Here's another one, uh, virtually identical. The tournament anglers have been catching a lot of fish this size. And what local businesses are seeing in their cash registers. The hunting opportunities for waterfowl uh, brings hunters in from all across North America. And of course when they come to town they're staying in a hotel, they're uh, spending money on fuel, lunch, whatever uh, supplies they might need. It's a win-win situation for everybody involved. 